When you work in a hospital, you can count on an ever-changing roster of new faces. Whether it's the new flower lady who winks too much, or the plastic surgeon who's returned after spending three years fixing cleft palates in third world countries. So, if any of you are interested in following in the philanthropic footsteps of Dr. Ramirez, he has graciously offered to answer any of your questions. I told you no one would care. So I'm supposed to marry someone who's going to stare at women for the rest of my life? Well, I wouldn't put it that way in your vows. Let's well, see, he likes it when I do it in front of him. Hey, honey. What's up, baby? Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's good, isn't it? That's because every time Estelle's working, she puts extra croutons into the stuffing. And yet the salads always suffer. Excuse me, I am talking about that man's ass? Gotta go. You know, because it's such a fine chisel, dig your fingernails into it kind of ass. Baby, probably works out. Carla? Ron. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Kudos on the nice pooper. Thank you. Mine's firm like mutton. Lovely. There's nothing worse than being around two people with a history. So did Sherry and Steve ever get married? You didn't hear what happened. Please say you heard. No, I didn't. Damn you, Ron. Steve took a year off to take care of his parents, and while he was gone, Sherry started seeing Dr. Harding. No. Really? Yes. Sherry and Gary? No. Yes. But that summer, they took a river rafting trip through the Grand Canyon, and they both drowned. Oh, thank God. You know, because they, they both died doing what they loved. Rafting. Hey, Carla, after you check Mr. Ruck's IV in room 310, can you zip down to the cafeteria and flirt more with Dr. Hotbutt? Fine. So I was flirting with him a little. But I used to have such a crush on the guy. And besides, you flirt sometimes. It's harmless, right? Can I press your button? I don't know. Can I press yours? not always harmless. Hey, uh, Carla, I was uh, wondering if you wanted to grab dinner with me tonight. It's over. So what do you say? And you just hate to see anyone get crushed, even Dr. Hotbutt. Sure, that sounds great. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> well, this is nice. After all these years, actually being out with you. Yeah, so where mm -hmm. do you want to sit? How about here? <gasps> We have a lovely selection of condoms. Ooh, lemon zinger. I'm cool. What were you thinking about? What you'd look like if you were Chinese? Me too. Whew. Stay calm. Turk's never going to find out about her date. Hey! Ah! You got a minute to talk? I got lots of time to talk. Do you want to talk about anything? Anything? Hours to talk? We can talk about our feelings. What, what's up? Look, you know, I've been thinking about this whole Carla nagging me thing, right? And I know it's coming from a good place because, well, let's face it, the woman lives and dies for me. <laughs> mm. More wine? Oh, God, yes. So I'm supposed to marry someone who's going to bust my chops every time I look at a woman for the rest of my life? Well, I wouldn't put it that way in your vows. Hand me that. Here you go. So you and that girl Kelly finally broke up, huh? Yeah. What was that cute name that you used to call her? Skunk Face. I was a little mean back then. No, I always used to think you were the sweetest girl on earth. Nag, 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 nag. You see how Carla is lately? I mean, is that all I have to look forward to? I hear they're coming out with a Stuart Little 3. Nah, it's on hold. The director dropped out. Turk, don't you have any work to do? Dude, surgeon. Beads keep me strong. What? Nothing. I'm so glad we did this. Oh, me too. <laughs> you know, I have to leave for a lecture tour on Monday, but I'm back last week in April, so maybe we can get together then. I'm getting married April 24th. So then our plans would totally interfere with your honeymoon. A little bit. Excited about it? I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> 